Let's start the music. We start at zero, then jump straight to two. But what comes next, you know what to do. Keep adding two, skipping a number each time. And if you get stuck, just remember this rhyme. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We started at zero, then two came next. Followed by four as we jumped two steps. Six, eight, ten. We did it all together. Counting in twos is a skill you'll keep forever. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We skip number one and also number three. When counting in twos, skipping numbers is the key. Five, seven, nine. We miss them out too. But when counting in twos, it's what you have to do. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We did it. Jumping two numbers at a time whilst learning to count, sing and rhyme. We started at two and went right up to ten, but if you need more practice, just start the rap again. Welcome to Quizzy Cottage. I'm Quizzy, the quiz master, and welcome to my live week. Today, I thought I'd read you one of the stories from here in the library. One of my adventures from quiz time. Would you like that? Brilliant. Well, let's get started. Now, today's story starts at the end of a previous story. At the end of one of Quizzy's previous adventures. His space adventure. At the end of Quizzy's trip to space, we see Quizzy arrive back at Quizzy Cottage, but not alone. A UFO, an unidentified flying object in space, has followed him back and has landed in the ground of Quizzy Cottage. We pick up the story with an alien seen walking from the spaceship down the path towards Quizzy Cottage. Quizzy is busy inside the cottage, welcoming his friend in for another round of quiz time. And then they head off into the kitchen to see Rainbow Sparkle. Quizzy reminds his friend that they need to listen out for Rainbow Sparkle's bell. And when they hear it, they shout out, Quiz time! Because it means quiz time's ready. And it's time to look inside the mystery quiz time bag. Off Quizzy and his friends go to the first quiz room. And someone's following close behind them. Quizzy and his friends enter the first quiz room. Where Quizzy starts by showing his friend his new microphone. I've written a counting in twos quizzy rap. Would you like to hear it? Of course they would. So quizzy smashes out the rap. We start at zero, then jump straight to two. But what comes next, you know what to do. Keep adding two, skipping a number each time. And if you get stuck, just remember this rhyme. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We started at zero, and then two came next, followed by four as we jumped two steps. Six, eight, ten. We did it, all together. Counting in twos is a skill you'll keep forever. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We skipped number one, and also number three. When counting in two, skipping numbers is the key. Five, seven, nine, we missed them out too. But when counting in two, it's what you have to do. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We did it. Jumping two numbers at a time. Whilst learning to count, sing and rhyme. We started at zero and went right up to ten. But if you need more practice, he says, just start the rap again. Off they go to the second of today's quiz room. And as soon as they enter, right in front of them, they can see ten green bottles, kind of hanging on the wall. You know the nursery rhyme, right? 
10 green bottles hanging on the wall? Well, normally one green bottle will fall off at a time. And you have to count backwards from 10. One at a time. But today, Quizzy says, because we're counting in twos, we're going to count backwards from 10 with two green bottles falling off the wall at a time. Quizzy then sings the nursery rhyme. 10 green bottles hanging on the wall, but with two bottles falling off each time. But just as the last two bottles fall off the wall, ding, 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 ding. Quiz time! It's quiz time! Quizzy and his friend head back to the kitchen. Back to Rainbow Sparkle. Quizzy opens the mystery quiz time bag. And inside he finds two items. Two items of food. A healthy one. And a not so healthy one. And five quick fire quiz time questions about healthy choices begin. Off to the third and final quiz room, there you go. Failing to notice the alien looking in through the windows. In the third and final quiz room, Quiz explains how they're going to use the number two one last final time. We're going to use the number two to divide things into two Groups, he says. Quizzy and his friend are really good at dividing and splitting different types of healthy fruit and veg into two groups. Well, apart from the last group, as instead of lovely fresh fruit and veg, one of the others, Quizzy and his friends find themselves splitting ten aliens into two groups. Aliens, Quizzy says. As if. Quizzy finishes, as always, with a Quizzy rap, completely oblivious to the aliens and UFO taking off from Quizzy Cottage. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's story. Hey everyone, welcome to Quizzy Cottage. I'm Quizzy, the quiz master. Now, on the last episode of Quiz Time, we went all the way to space. So I really hope today's quiz rooms are just as awesome. Should we begin? Brilliant, let's pop in the kitchen, see Rainbow Sparkle, and then get started. Come on. Hey Rainbow Sparkle, it's quiz time! Now, Rainbow Sparkle's job is to look after the mystery quiz time bag, yes! And remember, at any point during today's quiz, you hear this noise, then you need to shout out, quiz time! Because it means quiz time is here 
and time to look inside the mystery quiz time bag. Right, are you ready to head to today's first quiz room? Brilliant! We'll see you later Rainbow Sparkle. Come on, let's get started! Hey, welcome to today's first quiz room. I like it. Do you? Now, today, all the quiz rooms are all about counting. And especially to do with the number two. So, to help you out and to get you started, I've written a quizzy counting in twos rap. So, would you like to hear it? because it might help you out later. Brilliant! Now, before we start, because I'm here, and you're all the way over there, I'm going to use one of these. Do you know what this is? Yeah, it's a microphone. So it helps people who sing and rap to make their voices louder. So people like you, who are quite far away, can still hear them. So, for the wrap today, we're going to start by using the microphone. Are you ready? Brilliant! Right, let's start the music! We start at zero, then jump straight to two. But what comes next, you know what to do. Keep adding two, skipping a number each time, and if you get stuck, just remember this rhyme. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We started at zero, then two came next, followed by four as we jumped two steps. Six, eight, ten, we did it all together. Counting in twos is a skill you'll keep forever. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We skip number one and also number three when counting in two, skipping numbers is the key. Five, seven, nine, we missed them out too, but when counting in twos, it's what you have to do. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We did it, jumping two numbers at a time whilst learning to count, sing and rhyme. We started at two and went right up to ten, but if you need more practice, just start the rap again. That was brilliant. I love rapping and I hope it's really useful for you a bit later on. Now let's head to the second of today's quiz room and see what's going on in there. Come on! Welcome to today's second quiz room. Now, have you heard the song, Ten Green Bottles Hanging on a Wall? Like this. Now, in that song, they sing from ten backwards, in ones. But today, we're going to count from ten backwards in twos. So are you ready? Brilliant! Ten green bottles hanging on a wall Ten green bottles hanging on a wall But if two green bottles should accidentally fall There'll be... Hang on, if we had ten green bottles hanging on a wall and two fell off how many green bottles are left hanging on the wall? Yeah, of course. There'd be eight green bottles still hanging on the wall. Eight green bottles hanging on the wall. Eight green bottles hanging on the wall. And if two green bottles should accidentally fall, There'll be... 
inside. There were eight green bottles left hanging on the wall and two more fell off. So how many green bottles are left hanging on the wall? Yeah, there'd be six green bottles left hanging on the wall. Six green bottles hanging on the wall. Six green bottles hanging on a wall. But if two green bottles should accidentally fall, there'll be... Right, so there were six green bottles left hanging on the wall and two more fell off. So how many green bottles would be left hanging on the wall? Yeah, there'd be four green bottles left hanging on the wall. Four green bottles hanging on the wall. Four green bottles hanging on the wall. But if two green bottles should accidentally fall, there'll be... Okay, so we had four green bottles left hanging on the wall and two more fell off. So how many green bottles are left hanging on the wall? Yes, of course, there'd be two green bottles left hanging on the wall. Two green bottles hanging on the wall. Two green bottles hanging on a wall. But if two green bottles should accidentally fall, there'll be... Okay, so we had two green bottles left hanging on the wall and two fell off. So how many green bottles would be left hanging on the wall? Of course, there'd be no green bottles hanging on the wall. No green bottles hanging on the wall. No green bottles hanging on a wall. And if no green bottles would accidentally fall, there'd be no green bottles hanging on the wall. Right, so let's head to our third and final You're right! It's quiz time! Come on! Hi Rainbow Sparkle! It's quiz time! I'll grab the bag and I'll meet you in the lounge. Come on! Okay, I've got the mystery quiz time bag. Let's have a look inside. Ooh. Today I've got a carrot and some chocolate. So what's quiz time about? I mean the carrot is the colour orange and the chocolate is the colour brown. Could it be about colour? Hang on, the carrot is a vegetable. The carrot is healthy. The chocolate is yummy, but it's not so healthy. So maybe quiz time today is about healthy food and unhealthy food. So are you ready? Brilliant, let's give it a go. Question number one. Which is the healthy option? Is it a carrot? Or a cheeseburger? Yes, of course. Well, like we said earlier, the carrot's a vegetable. It's the healthy option. Well done. Okay, question number two. Which is the healthy choice here? Is it the grapes or 
Is it the chocolate? Yes, the same as earlier. The chocolate is yummy, but it's not healthy. But the grapes, they're a fruit. They're super healthy. Well done. Question number three. Which is the healthy option here? Is it an orange or is it the chocolate chip cookies? You're right, it's the orange. The orange is again another fruit and fruit is healthy. The orange is the healthy choice here. Well done. Question number four. Which is the healthy option out of these two? Is it a pear? Or is it a donut? Yeah, they're yummy, but donuts aren't healthy. Lots of sugar. So it's the pear that's the healthy option. Because again, it's another fruit. Okay, last one, and it's a hard one because there's lots of different foods put together. Which is the healthy option here? Is it a salad or is it a pizza? What do you think? Yes, of course, it's the salad. Pizzas, yummy treats, but not so healthy. Salads full of fruits and vegetables, really healthy. Well, well done, you smashed quiz time. So hey, why don't we now head to the last quiz room and see what's happening in there. Are you ready? Brilliant, let's go. Hey, welcome to today's third and final quiz room. Now, in our first quiz room today, do you remember what we did? We counted all the way up to ten. We counted in twos. And then in our second quiz room, we counted backwards from ten. Also, in twos. Now, there's one more thing that we can do with the number two. And we're going to do it in our third and final quiz room today. Now, imagine you have a piece of toast like this. If you cut that piece of toast in half and split it into two groups, how many pieces of toast have you got in each group? Well, you've got one piece of toast on one side and another piece the other side. So when we cut anything in half, we end up with two pieces. But what happens if it's more than one thing that we're splitting in half? Well, let's have a go. Imagine you've got two apples to start with. If we split those two apples into two groups, how many apples would be in each of the groups? Yeah, there'd be one apple in each group. Brilliant. Okay, well let's say we now have some bananas. Yellow bananas. Because they're nice and white. If we had four bananas and we wanted to split four bananas into two groups, how many bananas would we have in each group? Yeah, we would have two bananas in each group. Brilliant! 
Okay, it'd get a bit harder. Let's say we had six lovely, juicy, green pears. If we were to split those six green, juicy pears into two groups, how many pears would be in each group? Yeah, so we would have three pairs in each group. Brilliant. Okay, getting harder. Imagine that we had eight orange oranges. If we were to split eight oranges into two groups, how many oranges would we have in each group? Yes, we would have four oranges in each group. Brilliant! Right, last one. Imagine we had ten aliens. Ten aliens? Meant to be something healthy. That's, that's not right. Okay, we can work with that. Let's say we had 10 aliens. And we wanted to split 10 aliens into two groups. How many aliens would we have in each group? Yes, we would have five aliens in each group. That's brilliant! Well done! Well, strange as it is, it's sadly time to go. But give yourselves a clap because you smashed today's quizzes. And you left time for one more rap. <laughs> Aliens! As if! So if you know it, Join in and then get out there and spread the word. I'm Quizzy, the quiz master, and my raps need to be heard. Quizzy Cottage is the place to be if you like quizzes, come on down and see. It's full of quizzes, puzzles and lots of games. And we start by shouting out our names. The quiz rooms are amazing and full of fun. But if you hear those bells ringing, don't forget to run back to Rainbow Sparkle, my faithful teddy. Because it means quiz time is here. And the mystery quiz bag is ready. Come back again soon. Bring your friends and your family too. I'm just the quiz master. The star of the show is you. I'll see you again soon. But until then, happy quizzing. Bye for now.